Hi everyone, today we'll be talking about factors affecting enzyme activity. In the previous video, we have talked about how enzyme works by using the lock and key hypothesis. The effectiveness of an enzyme can be affected by its environmental conditions. There are four factors that you need to know. Firstly, would be temperature. Second, pH. Third, substrate concentration. And fourth would be enzyme concentration. So remember these four points, especially the first two. Now let's focus on the temperature first. This is a very popular question in your exams. They will give you a graph like this. So for the x-axis, we have temperature. y-axis indicates the enzyme activity, which will be measured as the rate of reaction. So this is the curve. Okay, let's look at at low temperature, around zero. The enzyme activity is almost zero as well. What happened is, at low temperature, the kinetic energy of the enzyme and substrate molecule is low. So the key word is kinetic energy. It means that both enzyme and substrate molecule move slower and the chances for them to collide and bind together to form the enzyme substrate complex are low as well. Therefore, the rate of enzyme reaction is low. So, the keyword is the kinetic energy and also the chances of collision. And as you can see, as the temperature increases, the rate of enzyme reaction also increases. And very frequently in your exam, they will ask you to explain why is it so. And you have to explain in this way. This is because the kinetic energy of enzyme and substrate molecule is increasing as the temperature is increasing. So both will move faster and the chances for them to collide and bind are higher. Therefore, the rate of reaction is higher. In the exam, they will also ask you to state the optimum temperature. So this is how you do it. Find the highest point on the curve and then plot it down against the x-axis. And this will be your optimum temperature. Optimum temperature is temperature where the rate of enzyme activity is the highest. For human, the optimum temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. Beyond the optimum temperature, you will find that the rate of enzyme reaction decreases. Why is it so? This is because the chemical bond that hold the enzyme molecule begin to break. So this is the enzyme and I'm drawing the chemical bond in the enzyme. And this bond will be broken at very high temperature. And therefore, the specific 3D shape of the enzyme is disrupted. And the specific shape of the active site is also destroyed. And therefore, the substrate can no longer bind to the active site of the enzyme.
and hence all this is known as denaturation of enzyme and it is important to note that the effect of temperature is irreversible it means that even though you have lower down the temperature the denatured enzyme will not recover again Now, let's look at the effect of pH. pH is a measure of acidity and basicity of a solution. It ranges from pH 1 to 14. In acidic solution, hydrogen ion will be high. In alkaline condition, hydroxide ion will be high. And this is how the curve will look like. In the exam, they will ask you to draw the curve as well. When pH change, the concentration of hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion changes as well. Let's say this enzyme is put into an acidic solution, there will be a lot of hydrogen ion surrounding the enzyme. Hydrogen ion are charged, therefore, this will cause changes of the charges on the surface of active site of the enzyme. So you can see that initially the active site is negatively charged, now it has become positively charged and the surface of substrate will be positively charged as well. So, the enzyme and substrate cannot bind together because same charge will repel each other. Therefore, the enzyme-substrate complex cannot be formed. no reaction can occur. So remember, any changes in pH above or below the optimum temperature will quickly cause a decrease in the rate of reaction because of the change of the charges on the active site. In the extreme pH, the chemical bond in the enzyme is broken means that the bond maintaining the specific 3D shape of the enzyme is broken and this will cause changes in the shape of the active site and this process is known as denaturation and so the enzyme substrate complex can no longer be formed it is important to note that different enzymes work at different pH. For example, pepsin, which is the enzyme that breaks down your protein in your stomach, functions most effectively in an acidic medium at a pH of about 2. Trypsin, which is also another enzyme that breaks down your protein in your duodenum, functions most effectively in an alkaline medium at about pH of 8. Salivary amylase, which is the enzyme that breaks down the starch molecule into maltose in your mouth, 
functions best at the pH of 7. Important point, effect of the pH is reversible. Now, let's have a look at the effect of substrate concentration on enzyme activity. For the x-axis, we'll have the substrate concentration, which means we keep everything else constant. For example, enzyme concentration, pH and temperature all constant and we are only changing the substrate concentration and you will find that initially the rate of enzyme activity increases proportionally with the increase of substrate concentration until it reaches a maximum point this is because as you are adding more substrate in your solution there will be higher chances of collision between the enzyme and substrate. Therefore, more enzyme substrate complexes are formed. Beyond a certain concentration of substrate, you can no longer get any increase in enzyme activity. The rate of reaction remains constant. This is because, eventually, all the active sites are filled at one time. Let's say, if you only have 4 enzyme molecules in your solution, you can only form a maximum of 4 enzyme substrate complexes. Further increase in substrate concentration will not increase the products so here the enzyme molecule are said to be saturated and now the enzyme has become the limi limiting factor which means that at this stage the only way to increase the rate of reaction is by increasing the concentration of enzyme Now, let's look at the effect of enzyme concentration on the rate of reaction. The graph will be almost the same as the one on the left. You will see that as the concentration of enzyme increases, the rate of reaction increases. This is because there are more chance of enzyme substrate collisions. And until a maximum point, beyond that, the rate will remain constant. Because there are no more substrate molecule available. And the substrate concentration has now become the limiting factor. Let's see. If you only have three substrate molecules in the solution, you can only form a maximum of three enzyme substrate complexes. There's no point of adding more and more enzyme molecule. So at this stage, the only way to increase the rate is to add more substrate molecule. Okay, that concludes the presentation. Thank you.